Alright, so one more example um, of deciding whether a series is absolutely convergent, conditionally convergent or divergent. So we've got the series n equals 1 to infinity n cubed plus n over n to the fifth plus 4. Um, notice in this case, if you put it inside of absolute value, I mean, all of these terms are positive already. You know, if you plug in n equals 1, 2, 3, etc. Um, so putting it in absolute value really doesn't change anything whatsoever. So either the series is absolutely convergent or it's just simply divergent. Can't really be conditionally convergent. Well, I think to do this series, this would be a good candidate to use the uh, limit comparison test is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to compare this to the series. Well, again, the trick of keeping dominant terms. So n to the third over n to the fifth. That'll give us 1 over n squared. And 1 over n squared, that's just a convergent p-series. So if we do our limit as n goes to infinity of n cubed plus n over n to the fifth plus 4, we would divide by 1 over n squared, or equivalently multiply by n squared over 1. Well, if we distribute uh, our n squared to the numerator, we'll have n to the fifth plus n cubed over n to the fifth plus 4. The degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, so the limit is going to equal the ratio of the coefficients. So this limit will just equal 1, a positive finite number. That means both series do the same thing. And well, since our original series uh, that we're comparing it to is a convergent p-series, that means our original series is also convergent. But since we put it in absolute value, and again, it doesn't really change it, but that would mean it's also absolutely convergent.